Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the 5th of uh, May and uh, we're in Essex, UK and it's a lovely sunny spring day today and um, I just thought I'd show you my Granny Smith's apple which is in uh, beautiful, beautiful blossom today. Um, I love this tree and uh, it's actually on dwarf rootstock um, so it really isn't a tall tree at, uh, in any sense at all. It's about three years old and um, it carries a very good crop for such a, a young tree. I have pruned it over the winter just a little bit because if you don't, what tends to happen with these small trees is that they'll carry far too much fruit. And I, I did fall victim to this a few years ago when um, one of my uh, Granny Smith's apple trees, I, I just let it carry this huge crop and the weight of the fruit actually pulled the tree completely over and um, I had I, I really lost the tree and so I have now got into a habit of pruning them through the winter you prune them at the dormant time and uh, it's quite easy to do you you literally um, follow you can follow any instructions online there's some really good videos on YouTube showing you how to do it it only takes about 10 minutes actually and you just make sure that you're not um, allowing the tree to set too much fruit but um, but really, the, the blossom, I mean, even if you never ate these apples, the blossom is just stunning. I would imagine this tree is no more than about four foot tall, actually, so they're very easy to pick as well. And, um, and it goes back to what I was saying earlier about how you can really um, choose varieties of apples, which, although they are um, widely available in the UK, Granny Smith's apples, organic ones, not so easy to come by. And uh, I never spray this tree. It's been really healthy with no uh, problems whatsoever with any of the fruit. And um, I, I would think this carried, oh, at least 60 apples last year, which for a tiny tree like this is quite unbelievable, especially given its very young age. So let's have a look, look at these beautiful flowers. Well, when they open, you can see they uh, are incredible. I mean, they're, they're pale pink, but the the outsides of the petals have just got this gorgeous pink tone to them. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. And um, if I just show you over here, you can see this is another sort of um, arm of the tree. But, you know, they're absolutely gorgeous and they're covered in bees during the day. And um, that's a wonderful pollinating sight to watch. It's just absolutely lovely. And um, it's one of my favorite trees uh really that i have and um it's such a it's such a lovely it's such a lovely tree to look at you know you could sit and look for hours just at, just at each individual little petal so the, these actually are um they they become ready slightly later than some apples i mean really october time but you don't need to pick them you can leave them on the tree and then just pick and eat them all through the winter i was picking these until um, the middle of January. In fact, I was waiting to eat the last few before I pruned it. They really stay on the tree in really good condition. Um, so there's no need to actually worry about picking them all at the same time. So that's another bonus of this tree as well. So um, absolutely lovely. I'll just stand back a little bit so you can see the whole tree. But um, it really is an absolute picture and uh, highly recommend this uh, Granny Smith's apple. And as I say, they will be organic when I'm picking them. But as I say, if you, if you just want something that looks gorgeous in the garden, doesn't take up much room, buy it on a dwarf rootstock and um, highly recommend this Granny Smith's apple.